And we're back. All right. You sure we're back? Yes. What I hundreds. always try to think of something borderline offensive oh. to say right when you start recording, oh. but I never <laughs> can think of something. I was like, is Jake here? And then I heard him. Whoa. Hello? No, Jake's no, not. Like Skype, Skype just pooped. Oh. So, <laughs> Skype so you were slept in. Uh, do you sleep on the floor, or how do you sleep in there? Is the, well, we have Zacharias yeah. has a bedroll with him. <laughs> he will use that. There's a bed too. There's a double bed. There's a bed. Which anyone with facilitation, feel free to clear up. But yeah, uh, whatever. Wave of a hand. <laughs> yeah, I have a bedroll. I'll be sleeping preferably in the fireplace, even I can't lie. To it. <laughs> I am taking the bed. Is it a double the bed? Yeah, it is because they're about to have yeah. him in it. I'll sleep in it too. All right. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Kyron will tolerate that. <laughs> I have a bad role if someone wants to have it. But you you may sleep in Kyron's bed. <laughs> <laughs> Kyron's bre bed. Kyron not Kyron's bread, no. Marcus, do I have a bed roll? Marcus. I assume everyone has one. Well, I stole well, my. I stole my. We, we, have, we, we have enough. Cash has one. He has one. I have one. And then these, yeah. they'll be in bed anyway, so it'll be fine. The only one who won't have one is Dark Buck. Sure. <laughs> well, so we can just sleep in the bed, too. You can sleep on the couch. <laughs> yeah, you can sleep on the couch. <laughs> it's like, right, we'll freaking sleep on the couch if there's a couch. <laughs> so the dog takes your bedroll. He will sleep on the couch in his bedroll. Then the dog will sleep on top of you. <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> Let's just make a huge pile of bodies. <laughs> Keep us warm. Can't light a fire. <laughs> I accidentally cast a spark while sleeping. Alright, so... Uh, you don't get interrupted. Great. Uh, the plan now is to sneak back at night towards the, uh, the keep. Get as close as we can um, without, uh, you know, in, in the cover of darkness and then cast the visibility sphere, creep up to the wall and uh, Cash and I will float up and tie a rope, and rest while we climb up. Are we gonna disguise as guards again? Sure! Yay, I get to use my picture again. We should all disguise as Mott and, <laughs> uh, and, and Havelin and... <laughs> I am Havelin, I have returned! Yes, it's a miracle! We should have done that, actually. <laughs> we, c we come dressed as small children and old ladies. <laughs> Let us climb the wall. I do have the size to pull that off. <laughs> Hello, young man. I have one thing to say. Fireball. What? Just fell that rope already. Can you help me with my my rap problem? <laughs> oh, these old bones. You understand. <laughs> so, uh, you would uh, like to climb the wall? Why yes. You walk close and use invisibility then. Yes. Invisibility sphere to you know, cover the party, and we creep close. Once close, you know the the uh, Asurius, Marcus, and Chiron hides against the wall, so you know they're not spotted. While uh, Zacharias and Cash uses the invisibility to float up under cover of uh, yeah, Chiron. Where will you uh, do this? Well, let's see here. Can we? Um, hmm. I think we should do it on the. Gate or servant gate? Uh, should we do it on any of near any of the gates, really? Well, it's, those are two sides that are sort of easy to access. You could tr try to climb down the cliff towards the water. If you on the other side, but I mean that's. If if I look at the sketch here, where is the is there is there a cliff like here? Yeah, the water begins sort of here, and so there's a cliffy. Okay, so so this, this is and these two sides are basically the ones. That okay, I could is this? Could we? Uh, there is sort of a corner place if you want to try going. Yeah, let's, let's try go to the corner place first. All right. Because I'm I'm thinking the main gate is probably <laughs> kind of heavily guarded. <laughs> That'd be my guess. I mean, we, we what's a few crispy guards in the morning? We could float over to murder and just wreak havoc in the gatehouse, I guess. And then Greetings. leave. <laughs> Two fireballs and then leave. Yeah, that's the peek through the window. <laughs> boom, boom. Let me come back say, tomorrow. Two fireballs, a stone cord, and leave. Let me come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.
See you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh hello. Um, yes, I would like some more revealed around us, please. Yes. You no, know, now your you, now you, your vision is now only limited to fifteen feet. <laughs> hello, Watcher Twenty Seven. How are you doing today? Wait, are you too invisible? Yes. Okay, so you got that. Archer 27 is now invisible. <laughs> is invisible too? Help! I can't see me. No. It's only when the spell is cast. They still have to remain. People still have to remain in this aura. So w we we have quite a, a lot of time actually with this. So it would be nice to float around a bit and, and scout the walls. Um. Remember, you can only really float up and down. Floating. You have to walk, sort of. Get around then we well, I guess we land here and make our way slowly around to take a look. Sure. Stay together. Yeah, we'll stay together. Yeah, plus forty stealth. So you land here and jump down to the guard? I mean we would land like here where there isn't a guard. So you float down walk along the wall and float up again. All right. Do the guards look nervous at all, or scared? Can uh, well, yeah, uh, and and very sort of, uh, they're keeping well look out, keeping looking all around, looking at each other, making sure that each other are here. Little to know, these two are sitting right between them. <laughs> um, could Cash with her dark vision see more of the up north here? I think she has 60 feet. I think this is beyond 60 feet, but there's also like some torches and stuff, so I guess it wouldn't actually be that hard to see more stuff. Because it is actually lit, so it's like a light of sight. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to float up to be level with the keep, actually, to see if there's any, any guards on the keep roof. There isn't. There isn't? No. Interesting. We could go down through the keep again. <laughs> <laughs> this is calm backfire. Uh, well, well, what do you guys... Oh, so, like, what exactly is our aim right now? Do we want to just kill people, or do we want to, for example, hit the chapel or the keep or something? No, we should leave the chapel for last. Uh, I'm thinking, because whatever is in there, it's... My guess it probably can't come out because it hasn't. So we shouldn't provoke it, that's my thought. Uh can Sakurai see more into the courtyard. How many of the statues and fountains are destroyed? Well the bulge aren't that huge. So it's not that bad. I bet the pet I bet the um I bet any cleaning people are going to have a good time trying to fix that. Doesn't seem like there have been much. There's still blood splattered everywhere. Oh, good. Albadir, Archer, Infantryman, Archer. Albadir, Archer. Still leaving this conspicuously unguarded. Uh, well, well I, inside there's probably like fifty guards. <laughs> Everyone just packed in there, aiming at the uh, at the boulder. Um, I mean, this is l you know there are f there's certainly a few guards here, but if we can just you know take the uh, take the wall here, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. What do you think? Push them off the wall. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think the main problem would just be Barhold, but well, we don't know where he is. No. Possibly in the keep. So we need to get the others up here. Uh, let's see. Well, there are some th tricks you can do, certainly. Wait, you're talking to me? I'm talking to myself. Oh, I was like, do you want me to get fancy light over there? <laughs> fancy light. Uh, so we are going to make our way slowly, but surely, over here to the stable. 
sure. and carefully open the stable door. Right. There I'm are not sure what you expected. Uh, Still no horses. There are uh, other like hay and other flammable things in here. Yeah, there's a bit of stuff strewn about. Wonderful. Oh. It's time to create a little fire. Okay. Cool. Can we can we like bunch like these boxes basically? Just bunch yeah. up uh, flammable things around here and just what the Sagarius wants to do is use his like flint and tinders just set it on fire. Yeah. And then quickly retreat. Um, how long does the invisibility last? The invisibility sphere lasts for... hold on. A while. It lasts for a while, yes. So you have walked up here, so looked up, moved, looked up again, hovered far up, hovered down, Invisibility down, sphere. down, set a fire. Same time as invisibility, which is Six. one minute per level. Yeah, five minutes. All right, it's very soon gone. Okay. So, soon. all right. So with the fire lit, it'll take a little time to get it going. Uh, we wanted to basically we wanted to draw the attention of the others, right? We could always use ghost sound. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, moving up here, Zacharias. Well, I guess floating here, so we don't run into anyone. Uh, Zacharias will pro uh, produce a ghost sound from, um, well, say over here, around the corner somewhere, or maybe no. down here. Remember, you can create twenty humans worth of noise. So. <laughs> maybe I could. Maybe I should do it inside the bonfire, but then they will see the fire. Create the sound of twenty old ladies chattering. <laughs> you could. You could also create the sound of like twenty dogs barking. I could. Uh, yeah. When we leave, when we when we leave the stables, Sakurai would like to produce uh, the sound up here. Basically, can can um, I can't point because it's dark. But up near the gate, I'm, I'm assuming there's like a gatehouse that's sort of in, yeah. yeah. Um, so the sound of say, of uh, you know twenty, or hmm. yeah, let's, yeah. Say, let's say that the sound of of fierce fighting coming from inside the chapel or at the chapel doors, basically. I, I don't think you have enough range for that. It's twenty-five feet plus five feet per two levels. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's the restrictions are like... 40? 45? 35, 35. 35? That's basically stable you can reach. Mean, that would mean I need to go, let's see, I need to go here. I mean, pretty much after this, your, the invisibility is going to be gone. Yeah. Five minutes is not that long. You've already been sort of running around, looking up and point, down, scouting and the, running. The point, is you can, the point is you can make the sound of go from a direction. They won't necessarily know where in that direction it came from, they just know it came from that direction. Yeah, alright. Well, I produced the sound in the direction of the chapel, the sound of fierce fighting. Fierce too. People screaming and dying and just horribly... I got the stable door. That'll emit from... 20 humans worth of noise. Yeah. That's a loud noise. It is. Stand over. Go here and over here. You have summoned the hornet's nest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suggest you use the very last seconds of your invisibility to get out of there. Or no, we need to tie the rope. Not out, not out completely, but you know, away. Tie the invisible rope. Yes, we go to the corner. When well, everyone's looking in the. Uh, oop, everything's bugging out. Uh, in the cover of the visibility, the last shreds of it, we'll tie the rope and, you know, pull it down. Sure. So here comes the question, Manakai. How tall is the wall? Quite tall. Really tall. 5,000 feet. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically double standard castle wall. Uh, That's like a lot of wall. Yeah, can I have so a value in feet? How long is your rope? Yeah. How long does it need to be? <laughs> well, how long is that it? That sounds like a pickup line. Yeah, I, 
<laughs> uh, no, no, no. Standard castle walls are usually 30, 40 feet, I believe. I mean, I think the the rope is like 50 or 100 feet. Yeah, well, I was wondering if you had basically one or two ropes. Well, the point is, if, 50 to 100. Dep if you had like a 50-foot rope, I'd probably give you my rope, so... Yeah, okay, fair enough. We've got enough. If we have two ropes worth, we have enough. And, uh, you know, you become visible as as you begin tying the rope. And you get it tied and thrown down. People can begin climbing. And, uh, you know, people look over. This guy comes and opens the door. Like, oh, there's a fire. I don't see anyone. He's begins stomping on it, most likely. And uh, it's confused. And people begin to look around. And you're seen. Well, we got obviously not, obviously not. But you know, the first thing that happens is that, that well, let's take initiative, shall we? Half. But we 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 are dressed as guards. We are dressed as guards. Yeah, but but you're you're helping people climb up the wall. No, we are standing here looking over the wall. It's like, hmm, oh yes. We're standing here tying tying rope, or a rope on the side. They didn't see that. And in fact, there's not that many guards. They they'll notice if there's someone. <laughs> What? No, I'm just an old lady. But I, oh. I was hired yesterday. <laughs> exactly. All right, you need to climb up here pretty quick. Uh, uh, that would be hard for me. Depending on how tall it is, it might take us a long time. And we did not ping this through, did we? I mean, by default, pretty much, it will take me quite a while. I I didn't I didn't honestly think that the fire would be so small, and that they in the the second they saw the fire would turn around and see us. I thought uh, we I thought we would have like a, a f four five rounds something of climbing before they actually got to us. Yeah, well, let's decide in what what how who's climbing first and are climbing more at one time. I believe Chiron should uh, climb first, but also I believe that uh, Zechariah should drop a stone call in like here so that it's difficult terrain and it takes them a while to get to us. Sure, I should climb first because I have forty foot movement speed. That and um, you're a monster <laughs> in, in the combat sense. By the way, um, and how how high did you say in feet? The average castle walls? Thirty, thirty, forty feet. I right, will just believe. take. We'll just take like seventy. Something like that. Okay. Seventy. So for me, it's going to take two and a half rounds to climb up. Well, we'll just uh, round that to two. It's fine. Two rounds, okay. Also, your stone cord would be best place like that. I feel. Right, Zacharias. Yeah. Stop interrupting. I'm placing my stone call. Okay. <laughs> stone call. All right. <laughs> Hello, young one. I wonder if there's anyone in the building who's going to get hit by this. <laughs> uh, all right, everyone takes 2d6 damage in here. Go for it. Is it rain rocks? Yes. I should climb up last simply because I'll be the slowest and I don't want to hold anybody up. Yep. It will take me three. Well, if we're rounding down, well, how many? Take me three. Huh? How many? Uh, this the ones you see. Okay. It so will round two. Five. Three is rounding down. down. Four of rounding them. There we go. Seven, 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 eight. All right. And this whole area is difficult terrain. Which the guards will probably not be the best in. Of course, no. Uh, probably, fif yeah, 15 feet around, which is not quite good. I will... Uh, hmm. I guess you can't really do much since... I'll buff delay up until stuff, after right? Azurius, yeah. You can buff up and stuff. Right. Um, Kyron, climb. Do your climb check. I don't think you can fail, though, so I guess you're just halfway up now. Yeah, I, I can't select my token, so I can't actually... But you can't fail either. Yeah, so. I can't. Got your one. Well, I will take a uh, take a shot. Okay. On my turn, I will uh, use my fiendish boon. So for five minutes, I have plus one weapon. Can you see us? Well, yeah. Well, I could probably hear the guards going like. Enemies. I mean, you can hear like stone. And then I can hear the smash. stone call. So. So I have I have reason to buff. Would we get 
recover from the crenellations? Yeah, it makes sense. I'll give him minus two. Minus two. Mm. Is there a risk you want? Uh... Ten. That's a miss. What is your uh, AC unbuffed? Mine? Yeah. Uh, Seventeen. Right. This guy... Half... Double move. Urgh. He has to navigate the rocks and stones. Ash. I am gonna drink my potion so I have shield. Alright. And please take a five foot step forward. Archer. I, uh, 27 is still flat footed though. If you're, if you're interested in the knowledge. If I am interested in what knowledge? Uh, Archer 27 is still flat footed. Ooh. But then sneak attack is available. I, I don't know. Well, Only on this turn. So if you shield, you can't do that. I need shield. Last time it was too dangerous. I almost died. If they get up on us, it's going to be pretty dangerous. 18 AC is very decent against these guys. I mean, it would be nice to kill them. I think you should cast shield next round. <sighs> okay, so that guy was whatever. Everyone who hasn't acted currently. Oh, I can five foot step them and use a four? Yeah. Can. Hi, chicken rice. <laughs> protect me. <laughs> uh, why should we. Why protect the wizard? Just a second, I need to. I would if not, he doesn't care if you're in his fireball range. There's a feat for that. Might take it. The feed for what? Selective casting. I can choose friendlies to not get hit by the fireball. Do that with like wide and fireball. Uh, just a sec, Manakai. Huh? You changed my dagger to masterwork. Did you change the one dagger I had? I changed them. To you, masterwork. Well, the thing is, I don't have two masterwork dagger. Only one. Uh, well, you had time to buy another one. If you want to remove that gold. Okay, fine. So, what bonuses did I get? He was surprised. You can buy masterwork. Right? He's flat footed. Cool. Uh, a dagger, yeah. That's just easier for the macros. Okay. Nice. Oh, you forgot I didn't the get sneak. the. I forgot the sneak. Just roll, just roll, roll the sneak, damage, right? please. Just roll the extra damage. Yeah. You could re-roll the attacks. I just rolled damage. Uh. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I think he's pretty. pretty his skull, his skull has been removed by a pair of daggers, <laughs> which is kind of hard to do. Huh. So uh, Cash knows how to do it. That's your talent. Indeed. Behold. <laughs> Tada! <laughs> <laughs> My creation. Minus 40. I think he's a bit far away. But he has a freaking long bow and that has a huge range anyway. So we'll shoot at cash. Yes. I was about to. S I was sure. about to say, if he hits me, I'm gonna make a picture of it. Well, I'll be climbing, of course. Um, I don't think Kyron's done yet. Well, Kyron's like halfway up, you said, so... It's like, mm -hmm. Oh, you wanna start while he's... Right. If the ro rope can hold us? Sure, we can do it. go for it. Make your climb check. I can't actually fail, but okay. <laughs> I don't know what your climb is. Uh, How can you pass Kyron? Hmm? I'm not going to be passing Kyron. I'm going to be going. I'm oh, okay. My, I'm, oh, no, I'm, I was just wondering because your token showed up and I was he was putting it so you can roll. Kyron oh, will okay. move up 40 in one turn. I'll move up 30 in one turn. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyway. 
Yeah, do not, the plate mail person should not also try climbing up simultaneously. No. <laughs> and even if I were to, there's always the chance of me failing because I have a minus three on climb in my armor. It's it's much higher when I'm out of my armor, surprisingly. Oh, well, you should have said something, though. You could have gotten levitate. You should have cash. Mm. You're probably okay. right. Dog. Stop that. Fight. Follow up is a trip. Let's miss. I um, can just casually add the rest of them, I think. As you know, eventually. Zacharias! I said Zacharias. Well, hmm. what to do, what to do? Do you need to touch someone for levitate? Um, or what's the range on that? I... let me check. Uh, personal or close? Yes, so up close to... So not enough. 70 feet. No, not 70 feet. Mm. Not 70 feet. Well, mm, like I have spells, but I don't really want to waste them. They're too spread out for fireball. Um, crossbow. I have my crossbow, but that's pathetic. And um, standing there doing nothing, also. It's pretty pathetic. Well, let me take a look here. Hmm. Uh, these, uh, so guard, god damn it, let's see here, infantry 6 and I can see archer 1 back there. Uh-huh. Yes, I will cast sleep on them. Alright. Yep, so a will save, DC 16, I will fall asleep, fail. Nap time. And fail, yeah, both fall asleep. How long? Uh, for five minutes. All right, that's plenty. Yep, fifty rounds. And uh, move action. We'll draw the crossbow. Right. And uh, point it menacingly at uh, the others. <laughs> I don't know how menacing Zacharias would look with a crossbow, though. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> eh, well. He's better mm. just snapping his fingers and people dying. You're used to things being at your fingers. Yes. It's scarring that there's actually maybe something more important going on outside. No. What the hell? Boulders are everywhere. I don't I remember this from last night. Chiron can climb, and he would then appear at the end of his turn here. Hey. Uh, or, yeah. Glad you can join us, Chiron. There are people here for you to kill. Yes, something interesting then. Skyers. Gotta take his move. Double move, that is. Cash. Uh, I am gonna five foot step there and see if I can kill that dog. The dog is so sad. Look at him. Oh, uh, it's here. The dog is dead. It. No, and that's sneak attack. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage, though. Still, even with daggers. Mm, yeah, and still. With an already damaged dog, that he should be dead. Yeah, still 12 damage. Bad dog.
<clears throat> oh, sorry. Nine here. 